Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, then please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll upload a bonus video on Sunday, so I don't want you to miss any of them. All right, y'all, so today's video is going to be different than any video that I have ever done on my channel I do believe and it's going to be an Amazon haul. I know we are all at home self-isolating and during this lockdown I don't know about you but I have been missing my Target runs and my Walmart runs so I have picked up the most random things on Amazon and I wanted to share them with you all. I thought this would be fun because you'll get to see like some of the things that you know I consider to be necessary or just random things that I find myself buying at three o'clock in the morning but that's neither here nor there so if you are interested in seeing some of the items that I have picked up from Amazon then stick around okay so the first thing I picked up now this was like my first order from Amazon I think this was like my last week working at the actual office this has been about a month ago I picked up some travel hand sanitizers okay now I know we all use like the Bath and Body Works and they may work I don't know but because we actually need to sanitize our hands I figured Purell which was the first hand sanitizer I ever used in life would be the best so I found these mini ones they did not have any large ones I would have gotten the big jug if I could but they had these mini ones so I picked up a few of these I think I got like three or four of these little mini ones and you can keep these in your purse you know so that you can sanitize you know when you're going to the grocery store the bank or wherever you need to go so um, I doubt these are still on the website obviously Obviously because hand sanitizer is like obsolete at this point but I was able to pick up the little mini Purell's so I'm so happy I was able to get these in that same order I picked up these little aqua fours now of course I've seen these at Walmart but my lips have been so dry you guys my skin in general has been dry since being in the house so I wanted to try like a new lip balm and they had tons to choose from but I just wasn't sure and I heard about the aqua four before I know that you can use this it's like a multi purpose ointment or cream so I want to try this out and this is now my holy grail I cannot wait to pick up the larger size um, I picked up about four of these little mini ones and they were very inexpensive I think the large size is like eight dollars but I picked these up just to try them out and they came in a pack so you guys I am obsessed with this it's the aqua Four healing ointment advanced therapy for uh, dry cracked or irritated skin and my lips are have been so moisturized using this um i would actually like to use this like on my feet and stuff so if i can get like a big you know like tube of it that would be nice but for right now i'm just using these on my lips and i am loving them next up i picked up these microfiber cloths now these i got these to uh wash my face again my skin has been extremely dry so instead of using like a paper towel even though that's the most sanitary um or just using like a regular face towel i picked these up they are super soft you guys they come in a pack of two and i love these i think these are considered to be like dupes maybe of the makeup erasers but I don't really use these to erase makeup um I wash my face with these I mean not wash them with these I wash my face with my hands with my cleanser and then I just um use these to like dry my face off but they do get off all the extra residue so I'm thinking that these are like the makeup eraser dupes but love these so far you guys like I have been using them every single day and I'm obsessed. All right, so keeping in line with like beauty things, I did pick up a new vanity mirror. Um, I have a vanity mirror, you know, like above my vanity, but I definitely needed another mirror. I have a nice one, but I like this one because it has like the LED lights around it. And I don't want to blind you guys, but it has the LED lights around it and it has a, um, you can use batteries or you can plug this up using a USB cord, which I liked. My previous one only used batteries, so I was constantly having to re-up on batteries, which is annoying. So I just plug this into the wall with the USB cord and it works perfectly. And then they also have the magnifying little mirror here. So if you want to pluck those eyebrows while we are on lockdown, this is perfect. I also like this one because it has like a little compartment 
it here at the bottom. So it's like a little bit of storage. I like to keep my tweezers here, my mascara, the things that I kind of like reach for really quickly. Um, you know, lash glue, whatever have you, just in these little compartments. There are two, four, it's five little compartments here. So I'm loving this so far and you can do it sideways or you can do it horizontal. I'm sorry, like vertical or horizontal. So I like this a lot. It turns all the way around as you guys can see. So love this mirror so much. I would highly recommend this and it's great quality. Now I also picked up a facial steamer because again, my skin has been dry. Is it just me? Like comment down below and let me know if you are having issues with your skin just from like being, you know, isolated to the home. Like it's weird because you would think your skin would get more dry being in the elements, but being inside the house, my skin has been so dry y'all. So I did uh, go ahead and pick up a mini facial steamer. This one is by Kinga and I love this so much. It was fairly inexpensive and you just put water in it. It's this little thing here. So you just fill that up with water. I would say this last you about 10 minutes so you get 10 minutes worth of steam in this but the steam is it's for real okay like this feels like it's like a lot of steam so it reminds me of when I go get my facial so I've been kind of doing like um, a little steaming treatment on my face every week just to kind of keep the moisture locked in and I'll use it with my serums and stuff as well so absolutely loving this I highly recommend this it has a plug you just plug it in and you're good to go. And I like the little handle on it as well. The other thing that I liked about that steamer is that it came with like these little tools. So if you did want to do a full at home facial, you do get these tools like um, where you can do your own extractions and stuff like that. I'm not there yet. I, I don't burst my bumps. I have two large bumps right here. Um, I think it was due to that time of the month, but I have two large bumps and they're, they'll be there until they pop on their own. I've never burst my own bumps, you guys, just because I scar super easily. And so I don't trust myself, but these tools are nice to have. These are reminiscent of the tools that my um, esthetician used on me when she did an, a few extractions. And of course you can kind of sanitize these or boil them, you know, to get them sanitary. So um, yeah, I like that it came with these. It's like one, two, three, four, five different little tools here and the little case. So this is really cute and it's perfect for travel if we ever get out the house. All right, next up I have some lashes and you guys have been asking me about the lashes that I've been wearing. Um, these are actually the lashes that I received from my makeup artist when I went to go get my makeup done for the first time. I vlogged all of that. These are the lashes. I'm still wearing the same exact lashes, you guys. And I finally broke down and just asked her like, girl, what lashes are these? Um, so I love how dramatic they are, but they still make you look pretty and not like you, you have like spiders on your eyes, at least in my opinion. So these are by Valicia Lashes. Um, ValiciaLashes.com, but I got them from Amazon. They are the 5D Natural and Soft Handmade Lashes. And I'm obsessed, you guys. Like, this is how they look. Obsessed. You get, what is it, three in here? Let's see. So you get about five sets in here, I believe. I haven't opened them, but um, that's a really good deal, especially I only pay $8 for these. And as you can see, like I'm still wearing the original ones that she put on me. And when did I get my makeup done? That was a couple months ago. So these are really good lashes. They have not like shedded or anything. They haven't broken or anything like that. So I'll have these for a very long time. Again, I like that they are dramatic, but they're soft and like natural as well. I just love these lashes so much. They have really transformed my look. So I definitely wanted to share these with you guys. And again, these are by Felicia um lashes you can go to her website or you can get these off of amazon all right i also picked up some sports bras now i was looking for just like really soft like sleeping bras sports bras that i can just wear every day around the house um i need something you know to put on but i still i don't want to feel like i'm wearing anything so i picked these up these came in a pack of three and i've our one of them is dirty one of them i'm wearing right now um they came in uh white nude and black 
and this is the white one that I have not worn yet. I got these in a size large. They are by the brand Samaya, I want to say. Um, and they are, they do have a little pad in there, but you can remove the pad. They're like that seamless, you know, material. I really like these. They hold the girls. And if you have larger breasts, these are really good. Um, they cover everything. Like you're not going to be hanging out or anything. And you can still wear these with like regular clothes. So I would highly recommend these. Now, these are not going to just lift the girls up, you know, to the gods or anything, but they definitely give you adequate support and they're amazing. Like I like these a lot. And one thing that I really enjoy is that it comes down in a deeper V. A lot of the times with sports bras, they like straight across or they're really high up. So you can't wear certain shirts with them if they are V neck, you know, cause you can see the uh, bra. So I really like this one a lot. So yeah, these are by Samaya and I got a size large. Okay y'all, next up, these feet. I know I'm not the only one struggling with not being able to get our nails, our hair, our eyebrows, our feet done. Like it is so real in these streets. Now my nails, my nail tech, she is A1. Like I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it, she's the best. Um, I've had my nails done for about four weeks now and they still look really good. You guys have commented on that. So my nails are very strong. I do wear acrylics, but again, she is the best nail tech ever. They, they are looking amazing still. I did on purpose get like a very nudish light clear color so that you couldn't see so much when they start growing out because I knew that you know we wouldn't be able to go in but um my nails are doing fine but these feet honey I was not able to get in there and get me a pedicure before this whole lockdown and I tried to go I think it was like the week before we actually went on lockdown and child they were already shut down so I had to do my own pedicure y'all now this is a bag that's my own, but I'm keeping it in here. So I ordered me a little kit on Amazon and I wanna show you guys. Okay, so here is the kit. It comes in this little, um, little plastic case. And also I've already done like my feet. So I vlogged it, you guys will see that next week. But it comes with a toenail clipper. Now mind you, I didn't have any of these things because look, I will pay somebody to work on my feet. I don't have time to be doing my own feet, hurting my back and all that. But I learned quickly and was very humbled the other night when I did them. <laughs> so you also get like this little buffer file. Um, you get a couple of tools, you know, to like scrub your feet and stuff like that. Um, the like metal tools. You also get a razor um, with extra razor blades. I don't use these. I find that these make your heels harder than what they need to be. If you can get your feet like smooth with the pumice stone and like scraping it with uh, just one of these like metal utensils, I would do that. When you start to use these, it makes more skin grow on your heels and calluses. So it just gets thicker and thicker. You have to always use these. I wouldn't recommend it, but it does come in there if you need it, okay? And then you also get like the little toe separators. You get a little brush. You get um, a pink nail file. You get a few of these like little purple emery boards. Also get a really hard black nail file. Hate this. I started using this and the black stuff was coming off of my toes. Of course I could just wash it off, but that's still annoying. So I don't like this one too much. You also get the metal utensils and these are essential when you're giving yourself a pedicure or just getting a pedicure period. So you have this little utensil here. You can clean up under your toenails really good. I just Oh, y'all, let me tell you, it was amazing. Like the pedicure was amazing, okay? Um, and then you also get this little tool here where you can push your cuticles back. I don't know what this blade is. I'm assuming it's to cut the cuticles. I ain't there yet, child, I was too scared. But you also get this cuticle remover, which I like to use these. My grandmother used to use these um, when I was a kid, so I'm more comfortable with that. Love. I mean, and you also get the nippers as well. So if you need to nip off that dead skin around the toes, this is perfect. So I picked up this, I think it was like $20. Um, for the pieces that I love, I would say it was worth it. I don't too much care for like, the, like these are really good. They really did get my heels and my feet super soft, but I just wish that the plastic was just a little bit thicker. You can kind of hear it. I mean, it's not cheap or anything, but 
I would have liked for it to be a little bit thicker and I thought that they were larger but they're short kind of so I still like these a lot though um and look no complaints I also picked up a pumice stone I had to buy this separately but absolutely need this once you've you know gotten everything off with like the metal pieces and stuff you need to scrub those feet with that pumice stone to make sure that the feet are smooth so this was essential okay y'all i almost forgot but i have this uh last little piece from my at home pedicure um i could not forget the cuticle oil this is by sally hansen and it is the vitamin e nail and cuticle oil and it's just that it's just a nice little cuticle oil with the brush and i really like this again skin has been extremely dry meaning cuticles as well so i put this on my nail beds and i also put it on my feet when i did my um you know at home pedicure so i like this a lot and it kept them moisturized all day um so yeah love this okay i believe this is my last beauty product from amazon um if you watch my fragrance video you've seen this already this is the swiss arabian shagoff oud perfume and you guys this retails for 37 35 to 37.99 on amazon and it smells way more expensive than 37 dollars okay i will say that it's supposed to be a dupe or something similar to lancome's oud bouquet um i find this to be a little bit more smoky than i wanted it to be um but again it smells very expensive i just think that it would be more suited for a man it's not masculine in the smell uh, it's very sweet definitely a gourmand but it's very smoky and for me i just wouldn't want to smell this smoky but in the winter time i may have a change of heart so um i'll do like a comparison between this and the lancome oud bouquet and just tell you guys my thoughts in a different video but so far if you were interested in this i would highly recommend it just because it smells like a niche fragrance for this price you can't beat it and this is such a holy grail for so many people um i see this in so many fragrance collections so i would recommend it you know? okay so next up i have a candle and i know this brand it's by illuminaria this is sold at nordstrom and so when i saw this i was like oh let me try this this is the only one i saw though the only uh fragrance this is called coconut mango um, and it has Hawaiian mango, papaya, and orange blossom. I'm usually not a fruity candle scent person, but I mean, Amazon is like, it's hard to say no, you know? It's kind of like going to Target to shop. Like, you just have to buy everything. So this, I bought this before um, I made like a Bath & Body Works order because Bath & Body Works has not had any coupons, y'all. But FYI, um, I had some things in my cart for a couple of days on Bath & Body Works and after i complained on instagram i promise you it was like a few hours later or maybe it was the next day i looked in my email and i had a 20 percent off of the things that was in my cart i didn't share it because it was a one-time use so try that out keep the stuff in your cart and you'll probably end up getting a 20 percent off or something in your email so but anyway i went ahead and picked this one up because i wanted a new candle just because and it smells really good it's very fruity um and it smells exactly like what it says coconut mango so pick this one up i think i paid like 12 dollars for this not too bad and i like the frosted look you know super pretty next up i have a couple of like techie things so i have a macbook pro this is the 13 inch um i got this in 2018 or 17 one of the two when i upgraded because i'm a mac girl okay i use a pc for my job but i'm a mac girl but i wanted to like get a cute little um cover for it i have not had a cover on this one so i picked this one up and i think it's really cute like it looks really cute in my bedroom like when i make up my bed and this is just like sitting on there because it's like pink marble um you know it has blue pink if you can see that it's a really pretty little case it's nothing fancy or special but it does cover the bottom and the top and also it comes with a screen protector and so it also comes with um, this little keyboard protector as well and I like that a lot because you know it stops things from getting stuck in your keyboard especially if you eat around your laptop like I do so yeah I really like this and it also comes with like a screen protector and um, a cloth to like wipe off your screen so 
really, really, really like this. They had tons of different designs and colors. And I think this was only like $13. So I like this. This is just something to kind of like put a smile on my face and make me happy. Like we have to do all we can during this time, you know? I also picked up these two items. Now these are two separate items. This is an, um, what do you call it? <sighs> A drive so this is a big drive I forget the gig it's huge though so it holds like all of my old videos I used to delete all of my videos but now I just save them on here because you know I need to free up the space on my MacBook um, so I have this and it's in the cutest color like this pink color and it's very small and sleek and it holds a ton a ton I forget the gigs on this but again is it gigs I don't know if it's gigs whatever the big thing it's big Tetrabyte, I don't know. Whatever it is, I like it a lot. It wasn't too expensive either. And then I also have this little number. So if you have one of the newer MacBooks, you know that they don't have ports. They only have like these two small ports. So you can't put your uh, SD card in there. You can't put, you know, USB cords or anything. So you have to buy a converter and that's what this is. So it's just a little converter. You can put your SD, um, SD card in there you can put you know your USB so picked up these two items and uh, they have been just a lifesaver okay I also picked up these electronic wipes these are by Wayman and these are good to like wipe down your um, computer screens and stuff and since I'm working from home like you don't realize all the things that you have free at work you don't have at home so I like to use this to like wipe down my laptop wipe off my um, monitors and stuff in there that I use to work from home so it was just something to pick up it was like three dollars so this has been coming in handy. Um, you can use it on your mobile phone, your tablet, computers, TV screens, and car screens. Um, and they have tons of different, you know, types of products. And again, this is by Wayman. All right, y'all. So I also picked up a new clothing steamer. Now I have like a large steamer that kind of like hang, you can hang the stuff up. But I wanted a portable steamer and this one is large because it holds like a decent amount of water in there and it gets really, really hot. This one is by Conair. I love this steamer. It does not take any time to steam your clothes when you use this. So this is my new favorite thing. Like when I'm getting ready for like a haul or something to show you guys, I just pull this little baby out and get to going it takes no more than like five minutes or something so like with my other steamer i don't know it just takes a little longer so i like this that it's portable i can you know do it on my bed or on the floor or wherever i need to be so yeah i really like this i think this was like 20 something dollars but amazon prime love yeah, so this last item i'm probably the most excited about oh my goodness like organizational things yes so i was in the i was looking for a new uh perfume holder i found one that i really liked i think it was like 119 dollars. not ready for that yet i'm not sure because it's like a tower and you know perfume bottles can get really heavy so i didn't buy that yet but in that search i came across this and you may be wondering, girl, what kind of jewelry box is this? It's so plain and ugly. No, 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 no. This is to hold your sunglasses. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, they may hang their sunglasses on the wall. I don't like stuff on my walls like that. Um, they also have the ones that just kind of sit on a dresser and they're open. But those get dusty. So when I saw this, oh my goodness, you guys. It is like a leatherette case. I got it in white. I want it white so it can match my bedroom. A lot of the cases were like wood or black. When I found this one, I had to get it. So it's a leatherette case and it has the compartments in there and it holds 12 pairs of sunglasses, okay? So you have this first part and then you have this bottom drawer as well. Like, uh, you guys like the organization oh my goodness I'm obsessed I also like the fact that it has like this plexiglass on top so you can see the top layer and it's going to be sitting like on my lingerie chest so it's going to look nice and pretty it's not going to look you know out of the way or just cluttered so um, I'm going to put the glasses that I wear the most here and then i'll keep the other ones in the drawer like i always do but all right y'all so that is the end of my amazon haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was very different but you know considering the circumstances like we're all shopping online at this point 
and even household items you're having to shop online. So it's a little bit different, but Amazon is literally like the new target in Walmart, like I said earlier. So I've been having fun finding like new things to buy on Amazon. I need to slow down. Don't tell anybody I may actually have another, you know, package coming in, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, nothing major though. I think I just ordered like another cable cord or something like that. But yeah, please let me know some of the things that you have been buying from Amazon or some of the your favorites from Amazon's uh, hacks or just things that have been getting you through this whole quarantine self-isolation -is period because I'm super interested. And again, it's just like my happy place. I love going on Amazon, seeing all the new things that I can find. And especially if you have any organizational type of things, please leave those in the comment section because what more is there to do at home at this time than clean, eat and organize so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did i hope you guys are staying safe doing well and finding things to kind of like keep you distracted and occupied during this time um it's not a productivity competition i saw that on instagram and i could not agree more if you find yourself you know being in a rut during this time or just feeling discouraged or whatever have you that is fine i know i have been waking up within the last week being kind of anxious and I have no clue why, but I think it's because it's getting to me, you know, being stu stuck in the house. So I understand you guys, like we have to do all that we can to stay sane during this time. So I'm sending you guys like well wishes, blessings and all of that. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye y'all.